Legend says that a curse was brought onto the Earth on the date of November 19th, 2006. For the release of Nintendo's console, the Nintendo Wii, they were releasing a little game called Wii Sports to be packaged in with the console. But during shipping of the console, a mistake was made where a Wii development kit overclocked with power and blew up a developer named Matt, killing him almost immediately. This caused Matt's spirit to be hard-coded inside of the memory of Wii Sports, as a me by the name of Matt. The game of Wii Sports was essentially turned into Matt's digital hell, forced to relive the same simple sport minigames over and over and over again. This has caused Matt to gain a lust for blood, taking out one unlucky player every Halloween night, in hopes that one day he will be freed. But rumor has it that on one fateful Halloween night, a virgin warrior will be able to free the souls trapped inside of Wii Sports, and allow them to finally reach the afterlife. What a bunch of bullshit. All of this is just to create fear in an already over-commercialized holiday. It's like the next election. It's just the next thing to scare kids. But me? I'm gonna spend my Halloween trick-or-treating with my friends instead of trying to free some spirits that probably never existed. Right. I don't have any friends. Well... All I got was a Mr. Beast bar. Well, now that my Halloween plans are ruined and this costume is weirdly itchy, I should probably find something else to do. That's why it was so itchy. The Wii is one of my favorite consoles of all time. I remember playing games like Mario Galaxy, Donkey Kong Country Returns, and Madagascar 3 The Game as a kid. And how could I forget the numerous virtual console games I bought on the system? Like, I remember paying like $10 for Mario 64 and then realizing I, I didn't own a pro controller. I still don't to this day. But the game I remember playing the most was a little game that came packaged with a system by the name of Wii Sports. <laughs> no, 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 not yet. I played so much of this game, and it wasn't just me, I remember all my friends had it because it, it literally came with every single Wii. I remember almost every time I went to a friend's house we would play this game, getting into fights and whatnot. If only I could go back to a time where I actually had friends. Back in my old TV room where my Wii was set up, we had an elliptical and viewing distance from the TV. I assume so you could work out and watch TV, but my younger self had more extraordinary plans with this elliptical. I decided it would be a smart idea to play Wii Sports Boxing on the elliptical. I'm sure you can figure out how that ended. I hit my head on the ground because I tripped. I was a dumbass, and I still am, and I'd do it again. Just to clarify, don't actually do this. I'm saying all this to show how much of a nostalgic connection this game has to me, and why even nearly 20 years after release, this game still means so much to me. I'm not 20, just to make that clear. Which is why this Halloween, we'll be taking another look at Wii Sports. You know, because other plans fell through. Which is why today, we'll be taking another look at Wii Sports. very silent. This game is a collection of five different sports, being tennis, baseball, bowling, golf, and boxing. But you use a Wii Remote to control it all, bringing a much larger sense of immersion into the games. You see, back in 2006, the highest sense of immersion you could have playing a game is swinging this thing around. Now you need to have a whole headset strapped to your face and stuff. You see, the idea of swinging a controller to hit a baseball was so cool, and that's how they sold you on a Wii. Because who needs to go outside and find an actual sport to play with their friends when you have this weird white box in your living room? I think this thing has caused unmatched damage to my brain. To make it clear, this is a very small game. Like I mentioned, it only includes five sports, tennis, bowling, baseball, golf, and boxing, and they're all pretty simple. You see, the Wii Remote was capable of motion, but by capable that means you can make a couple jerking motions and not much else. But instead of the lack of true capabilities of the Wii Remote bringing down Wii Sports, the game actually works with the flaws and builds the game around them. Take baseball for example, instead of having to do everything you have to do in baseball, all you really have to do is hit or pitch the ball, and the game does the rest for you. So not only does the game really only make you do the fun parts, it's simple and pretty much everyone can easily understand it. And I think it's really cool that the Wii can make these games understandable for everyone while allowing everybody to have fun. And that's coming from someone who can hardly run a kilometer without throwing up, so... This game was also the first to utilize Miis. A Mi is a little character made in a simple character editor, but surprisingly these things can have a lot of depth. Remember Jean? In this game we got Miis like Abby, Lucia, and by far the most iconic is Matt. Matt, 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 Matt. The first sport in this game is tennis. 
I think that tennis is the best way to introduce people to the Wii's motion controls, and that's probably why it's the first sport in the list of sports in Wii Sports. Pretty much all you gotta do is swing the racket at the right time, and even though that might not sound like a lot of fun, I promise you playing this is very fun. Unlike most other tennis games, this game doesn't make you position yourself with the ball, it instead automatically moves your Wii to the tennis ball, and your only job is to hit the ball. I do like this, for new players it's easy and one less thing to learn, and it doesn't remove all the challenge. I do wish that they included an extra option to use the Wii Remote to move around your character for an extra challenge, but I do understand why they didn't include that. You have the options of a single match, best 2 out of 3 match, or best 3 out of 5 match. To play this game you must do a swinging motion with your arm, and it's actually very accurate. And it's such a natural motion to do for this game, you can hand this game to anyone they'll understand. Come on. The next sport in the game is baseball. Baseball is very awesome in this game. You must do a swinging motion with the Wii Remote, and depending on how hard you hit it, you get to move to first, second, or third base. Maybe one day, which is why I keep this condom in my pocket at all times. This is the packet of cheese. But you also go through the rotations like you're actually playing the sport in real life, so you can also be the pitcher. Yeah, I played baseball when I was like, six. For this one, you have to try and throw the ball and make it as hard as possible for the other player. And again, the movement is so natural for this one. You know how baseball works, then you know how baseball works in this game. The next sport in the game is bowling, and this is by far the best one. It's just plain fun, and it genuinely feels like you're bowling in real life, if the bowling ball had no weight, and you also had no arms. They nailed the controls for this one, if you hold down B on the controller and wind back and push, it's like an actual bowling ball, again if it had no weight and you had no arms. And the physics in this game are pretty much perfect, they feel so responsive and it never feels like it's the game's fault if you miss any pins. Honestly, bowling in Wii Sports is probably the most fun thing, uh, ever. You can play with your friends, I don't have any friends. You can play with your dog. Go! After bowling, we have golf. This is probably the only sport in Wii Sports I haven't played for a long period of time, and I don't really have any nostalgic connection to it either. I've always thought of golf as kind of a boring sport, so when I had the option to choose between boxing, bowling, or tennis, why would I choose golf? The only real memory I have with Wii Sports Golf is when I was little, my mom would play it, and I would mess around on the treadmill. However, maybe I've treated golf unfairly, maybe I should give it a chance. For this sport, you must swing the Wii Remote like a golf club, who would have guessed? However, it's surprisingly in-depth for a simple golf game. I'm pretty sure I haven't played many. Yeah, my only real knowledge of golf is through Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, the best eSport of all time. Hey wait, this is actually kind of fun. I think I'm going to be golf next Halloween. The next and last sport in this game is Wii Sports Boxing. Oh, boxing? This one's awesome! I can't wait to play this one again. Wait, the prophecy is real. You have the wrong guy. I'm not a ver- That's a lie, but you have the wrong guy. You know, I've pictured a lot of deaths for myself, but never once have I pictured a bald me killing me. Little baby says what? Oh my god. Oh, come on! Okay, hey man, I've never been the biggest on combat sports, so why don't we call it on like a coin toss or something? I don't have a coin, because why would I? But I do have this packet of cheese that I mistook for a condom. Which side do you want? That's not my main worry right now. Wii Sports Boxing is the only sport in this game to use the Wii Nunchuck. You see this phallic looking hole on the bottom of the Wii Remote? Yeah, that's for accessories, and the one included with the console is the Wii Nunchuck. So you pop it in the bottom and you're ready to box. Just like real life. And then it's as simple as making boxing motions with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck with your hands, and then, you know, you fight. You see, I never knew boxing had any more in depth than this, so now that I have to apply my knowledge in a real fight... <laughs> boxing has always been one of my favorites in this game. I remember this one always being the most fun to play with friends, and it was also the one where you could bash your hand into a wall and have to be sent to the emergency room. Don't look at me. This game can get really tiring though, especially as you get into the harder NPCs like, say, Matt. <laughs> Hey, wait. If I knew I'd be killing some bald me today, I would've prepared a funny line. Insert funny line here! Uh... 
Wii Sports has also received some sequels slash in spirit sequels, those being Wii Sports Resort and Nintendo Switch Sports. Sure would suck if some summer I just released another evil AI into the earth. Oh yeah, and Nintendo Switch Sports is cool, I guess. Oh, whoops, I'm early to April Fools again? You know, the best idea would be to eliminate Matt for good, but it's kind of funny to think that I have some evil little dude instead of a Wii remote. And it's kind of like a trophy for me anyway, like, hey, I did something. And it's like a friend to talk to when I'm bored or lonely. What's up? That's upsetting. We're just gonna put you right here. <sighs> oh, would you look at that? It's not even midnight yet, which means I haven't wasted my entire Halloween. I can still have some fun. Which is good, because I've been storing this rotting milk in my closet for the last year, just waiting for something to do with it. I can throw it at kids or something. Oh, look, I see some now. Hey, what the hell? I'm gonna fucking kill you! Happy Halloween.